Hey nerds, I had some questions and comments on my last video that was of the coffee and games genre and people were a little upset about hearing about my move from 14 to Guild Wars 2 so I wanted to clarify some things in this video so hopefully this will give you a better idea on where the content is headed and what you can look forward to seeing from me and again if you do have any questions feel free to post them in the comments down below and if you like the content don't forget to like Obviously comment, like I mentioned, applaud, and subscribe. I'll address the content shift first. It wasn't that I'm leaving 14 for Guild Wars 2. That was kind of a clickbaity title. And the exclamation uh, point and the question mark that I had on the video for the thumbnail actually didn't fit, so I cut those off, and I left it in the title. So it was like, oh my god, is she actually leaving? Um, essentially what you can see is that most of my content on Twitch for the time being, because I'm really excited about it, is going to be Guild Wars 2. I've tried all of the classes and they're between levels 7 and 14. So I have nine character slots and you can check out all of the story stuff there. My trying out all of the classes there, obviously I know at level 30 they're going to change. They're going to change with elite specs. I'll have to get all of them to 80 now and check out Pathfinder and Heart of Thorns since I've Purchase both, which actually answers one of the frequently asked questions that I've been getting a lot. However, I'm not leaving 14 completely, which I mentioned in the last video, but apparently people didn't watch the whole thing. So essentially, I am going to take breaks from it, as Yoshi P says is good, and as other people do, so I'm not exactly sure why I got some negativity there. But I'm excited to come back and do story for patches, to finish leveling my jobs to 80, as well as come back for Endwalker to try out Sage and whatever the new melee happens to be, and again, do the story. Most of that, though, will probably be on YouTube. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to see where everything takes me, but you can at least expect to see that, at least for the time being, that's what I'm planning on. So I'm not completely leaving 14. It's just a shift on stream at the moment, so you can definitely expect that in the future. The reason why I'm explaining it that way is because I've found that when I try to schedule things and have a certain exact time that I stream if Eddie, my new puppy, isn't dictating it when I get offline, it just hasn't worked. It's felt too structured and I think a lot of people have seen that when I was just trying to level jobs and do roulettes on stream, I wasn't having as much fun. And with Guild Wars 2, the idea of coming into a new MMO and all of the fun I've been having my enjoyment is showing on both stream and YouTube, and so we've been able to achieve a lot of goals. However, with that said, I'm going to address two comments at this point, because one of them was that it was unfortunate that I was creating the content that I am for Guild Wars 2, and that I didn't for 14, and so that kind of stinks as a viewer. I totally understand. However, it's one of those issues where I was just starting to do YouTube content and I wasn't exactly sure in what direction I wanted to go. It wasn't structured and again, like I mentioned in the last video, the only thing that I was really told was that for algorithm's sake I should do this, that, and the other thing. And I've found that after a pet project, because Guild Wars 2 wasn't even something that I was ever going to play, I'm literally playing it because my fiancé kept asking me to and I finally said, you know what, it would be fun to play one weekend and I'm going to be excited to play a game with you that isn't on stream, that isn't connected to content creation at all. And then I started playing it and I was like, this is so much fun. This is amazing. I was not expecting to like the combat. I was not expecting to enjoy myself as much as I am. And so he said that I should start making content for it. And so I did. So I'm sorry that the content for 14 that I'd posted so far on YouTube was lackluster and you're not wrong. And so that's why I'm excited to really learn to edit videos, which you can see a progression since I started posting my first impressions video, which again, once I did start recording stuff for Guild Wars 2, it was supposed to be different portions of first impressions. First impressions on races, first impressions on certain classes, first impressions on the world, the questing, the character creation. It was not supposed to turn into what it has now. I'm excited that it has, I'm overjoyed that it has, and like I said, I'll be moving it off of that playlist, and I'll probably change it to something like Adventures Through Tyria, or something to that nature, because I'm going to continue on with this journey. So, people who have been asking if I'm going to continue with Guild Wars 2, 
For the foreseeable future, yes, and that is going to be my mainstream content. A uh, second portion to that is that I felt like I, because I was starting to stream full time as a content creator, I felt like I had to stream between eight to 10 hours a day. And not that there should be an excuse, but I feel like a lot of things for my 14 YouTube content were not as up to par because I was on my PC for that long during the day. And then by the time I was getting ready to record something for YouTube, I just was not feeling it. So I wasn't feeling just doing the roulettes and leveling every day. And at the same time, I wasn't feeling staying on my PC to do that extra recording for whatever my thoughts had taken me for that point. Whereas with Guild Wars, I've kind of taken a step back with stream and I've done that content shift. And now I'm streaming four to six hours a day. I'm going outside with the new puppy, um, taking a nice walk with chalk or barbecuing or whatever, coming back, having a new frame of mind and being like, okay, I have this, 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 and this idea. And I'm so interested in creating content for this. And I feel the creative, the, the creative juice is just flowing that I'm not exactly even sure when I'm going to post videos because I want it to be quality over quantity. But at the same time, I have so many amazing ideas. So there's that and you can expect a lot more for that, but it'll probably be Adventures Through Tyria and a shifted uh, playlist. So to answer the other comments, a lot of people have said, are you going to continue on with your MMO journey? Yes. The whole idea of creating this playlist of there and back again, my journey through MMOs was to try new things that I kept telling everyone that I would try and then I never did. So it was supposed to get my button gear, but at the same time, I just fell in love with Guild Wars, so again, that'll be on a different playlist. And I think I'm going to start, like I'd mentioned before, I was talking about Lord of the Rings Online and uh, Black Desert Online. I'm actually going to do Lord of the Rings Online and Star Wars The Old Republic. And the beta for Magic Legends just came out, so you could probably see a video for that as well if I decide to record it, unless I decide to just play the game with chalk for a little bit and test out the beta. The other comment that I had received was a little bit negative, so I'm going to address that here because why not? It's fun. I was told that the Guild Wars 2 community is very small and that I won't make any money. And so if I decide as a content creator to swap over to Guild Wars, that I'll go broke. Okay. No, 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 and no. The support that I've received from the Guild Wars 2 community has been amazing. Number one. Number two, I wasn't swapping over content to Guild Wars 2 completely. I'm trying to move into more of a variety aspect. I've just fallen in love with Guild Wars 2, so you'll see a lot of that content. But I'm going to be posting content for a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting to, and continuing on with that MMO journey, and possibly even going into regular RPGs. And number three, it wasn't to make money at all. I think that a lot of people have just seen how excited I am for this game, and so they want to join the journey with me. So rude, 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 and rude. And I really enjoy all of the people I've met so far, so thank you guys so much, and I'll continue on with the questions. <laughs> So addressing my next most frequently asked question, I've been asked multiple times on stream and on videos what my favorite class is so far. I'm not even sure if I'm able to answer that because my highest level class is 14, but <laughs> every single time I try a new class, which I finally have the last class I needed to try or start a character for is engineer and I started that today and I love it. Which is funny because in my original video, if you guys remember that, I said that I wasn't sure about the char because I don't really like steampunk and I love high fantasy. And I also wasn't sure about the engineer for the same reason because the engineer uses guns and gadgets and things like that. And in WoW, I would never even use a blunderbuss if I was on a hunter. I wouldn't use the chauffeur because it was a bike. I would never use any of the like dirigible type things or anything like that, the helicopter or the chopper, I think it's called, because I didn't like it. I really like Engineer. I really, really, really like Engineer. The amount of conditions you can put down, and then with dual pistol, being able to throw the glue on the ground, so you literally have a bleed, um, burning, uh, blind, confusion, um, and immobilize. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. With that said, I really do need to get everything to 30, because obviously everything changes there, everything changes with elite specs. Everything changes based on what build I end up doing, and obviously everything will change at 80 as well. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really enjoying Engineer, I'm really enjoying Revenant, and I'm really enjoying Thief. 
and Mesmer so far. Elementalist I, I like as well, so I'd probably vote that a higher tier than everything else, but I don't know what's exactly my favorite. With that said, a lot of people ask what races I like the best, and again, I thought based on movement and based on aesthetics, culture, and lore that I would like run race over the other. I can't say the same now. Um, I really like humans. I really, really uh, love the Norn, again, because of the whole Viking aesthetic, the, the Celtic that they bring into is, is amazing, and the Native American and whatnot. Um, I actually really do like the Char just because of the way they act. I love the Asura because of their quippy dialogue. I love the Silvari because every single place is beautiful and they seem, they, they really are like the elves of other games. So. I like them all. Another question I get a lot is if I'll try the PvP lobby or when I'll do things for PvP. I'm not interested in that yet. I'm going to get there and I do want to play every single aspect of the game. I'm excited to try out every single game mode, but it's not something that I want to do yet. I really do want to feel comfortable with some kind of class and just creating them all and getting them all to level 10 really isn't enough. And I'm sure other people would will agree. So I'll have to work on that. The other thing that people keep asking me a lot is if I will do all of the living world uh, stories. As far as I can see, yes, as long as I continue to be just as excited about this game as I am now. Um, I do plan on hitting 80 with what first, I don't know. Probably with everything. I'm not exactly sure what I'll even do Path of Fire on. I'm not sure what I'll do the Living World stuff on, or Heart of Thorns, or Ice Brute. I'm not sure. But at the moment, I do plan on doing that content. I do plan on posting it on YouTube as well. A bunch of people also asked if when I get to those portions, if I will do reactions to the trailers. Here's where we hit kind of a gray area. Because I said that one of the things I didn't want to do anymore is reactions. But it was mainly reactions to other people's content and reactions to silly trailers of things that I probably would never even look at and I'm just doing the reaction because I'm told, or I was told back then, hey, you have to get a video up for each day for the algorithm. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that counts. Um, but if I feel the need to and I feel like I can use all of this creative energy that I'm really excited about and I have so many ideas for. If I can use that in a positive way for a reaction video for something like that, yes. And again, that's if I keep the same excitement that I have, like I said. So we'll see. Um, but that is something you could probably look forward to. On top of that, I'm really excited to say that we've hit 6K subscribers on YouTube and 9,400 followers on Twitch. For those of you who don't know, I've been streaming Guild Wars 2 on Twitch. And I'm really excited because when I started streaming Guild Wars 2, I had 8,400 <laughs> followers. And I had like 3,500 subscribers. So the community has been amazing. And again, it's quality over quantity. So thank you guys so much. Um, another question that I've been asked recently is about a guild. Yes, I have created a guild. If you would like more information, join the Discord and we can get you an invite. Just throw your tag in the tags channel or if you decide to post your tag in the comments of this video. If you feel comfortable doing that, let me know that you want a guild invite and we'll have someone invite you to the guild that way. Before I end up being too redundant, I will just let you guys know what things that you can expect. I don't, again, have a schedule for them, but I have been streaming every day, Monday through Friday. Regardless of when I start, I usually end around 5 p.m. Central. I've been posting videos for whatever takes me at the moment, at least every other day to every two days. So you guys can look forward to that content. Some things that are going to be happening, I mentioned in the last video, the cooking through Tyria, we sh will be getting that up. Uh, the Asura chapter one story I'll be doing, the Char chapter one story, and I actually posted a poll on YouTube in my community tab that you guys can see. And people are wondering if Guild Wars 2 would be good for people to get into as a beginner. now. For a beginner myself, I feel like there's only certain things I can say, but if you guys want to see a video on that, I will have fun doing so. So I have a couple of neat ideas for that as well. You will also be able to see my doing jump puzzles for the first time and my checking out cities for the first time. And I'm also looking at, again, the Magic Legends thing, um, Star Wars The Old Republic, Lord of the Rings Online. I also have a podcast lined up for next week with Albsters on his transition from Guild Wars into 14 and how he's going to balance the content and what he thinks about 14 so far. 
So I'll have that lined up, and I'm also thinking about lining up a podcast with Mighty Teapot. That's not completely set in stone, but hopefully you guys can look forward to that as well. So thank you so much for your support so far. Hopefully you guys will like Variety Zan as much, or if not more, than Final Fantasy XIV Zan. And I'm really excited to see where all of this brings me. So I'm really glad you guys are along for the journey. And again, don't forget to like, comment, applaud, and subscribe. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you at the next one.